Greet your patient and introduce yourself to the patient. Explain the purpose and conduct of the examination. Use the language or vocabulary which is understandable and appropriate for your patient. Ask your patient to undress down to the waist behind the curtain and provide a blanket to cover. Ask the patient to sit upright on the edge of the bed with her hands relaxed on her thighs or on the side. Ask the patient to uncover the breast. Note any presence of obvious masses, swelling, scars, skin changes, nipple changes, asymmetry. Ask your patient to place her hands on her hips and push inwards to tense the pectoralis major. Repeat inspection. If a mass is noted, observe if the mass moves with the pectoralis muscle. Ask patient to place both hands behind her head. Repeat inspection. Inspect the breast tissue for any masses, asymmetry, dimpling or pluckering. Ask patient to lean forward, keeping her hands behind her head. Repeat inspection. Ensure to warm your hands before touching the patient and examine the normal and asymptomatic breast first. Position your patient lying flat over the bed or at the angle of 45 degree. Squeeze the nipple gently and check for any discharge. Note the color, odor, consistency and amount of the discharge. Use a systematic approach to ensure all areas of the breast tissues are examined. We can use spiral method, vertical strips method, clock face method and pie method. In this OSCE video, I will use spiral use method. Use finger pads of three finger of one hand to compress breast tissues against the chest wall. Check for any masses. Press downward using a circular motion. Apply a steady pressure, pushing down the chest of three level of the depth, first superficial, second medium, and the third deep level of the chest wall. If a mass is palpated, describe it according to the position, size, and shape, consistency, mobility, fluctuations, overlying skin changes. Palpate the axilla with the free hands and ensure all the areas of the axilla are covered, like medial, lateral anterior, posterior, and the apex of the axilla. Lastly, perform the general examination of the lymph nodes. Cervical lymph nodes, supraclavicular lymph nodes, infraclavicular lymph nodes, and parasternal lymph nodes. After the breast examination of your patient, cover with blanket or sheet. Allow your patient to dress up in private Explain the findings to your patient, entertain and answer all the questions from your patient. At the end, thank your patient. Like my video, give a thumbs up, share with your family and friends and subscribe.